Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be the perfect palette tag. Basically, I've been wanting to film this video ever since I started watching YouTube around maybe four years ago. And this is a tag that just asks a bunch of questions about your favorite palettes, you get to go through your collection, pick out the eyeshadows that go the best with the questions. And since eyeshadow is my favorite makeup product aside from foundation, I really, really wanted to film this for you guys. And if you like the idea of this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, please, if you like my content, go ahead and subscribe down below. That way you're notified of future videos from me. And let's go ahead and get started. So the very first question in the perfect palette tag is best packaging. And that by far goes to the Pretty Vulgar brand. This specifically is the Early Bird palette. They actually have two other eyeshadow palettes in this range. But honestly, I feel like Pretty Vulgar takes the cake for just about packaging on everything their mascaras their blushes their bronzers like they have the most beautiful packaging so when you open up this palette the inside of it literally looks like a bird cage not to mention that these colors are everything i love that there are some mauvey purpley tones there are also some taupey shades over here i love these shimmers down here the pinks the purples and there are also these nice dark colors up here so you can really add some definition to your eye if you want to and I just, I love the layout of this palette. I think hands down it has the best packaging. Okay, so next. The next question is the best color payoff. And that definitely goes to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, this is my favorite palette of all time, hands down. Best palette I've ever used, tried, owned. I'm obsessed with it. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. These colors are ultra pigmented, ultra buttery, ultra creamy, ultra smooth. Honestly, if you love eyeshadow, you need this in your collection. These are so pigmented and beautiful. They will show up on every single skin tone, but they are so flattering on everyone. And Anastasia is actually coming out with a sister palette to this called the Subversion Palette that is being released on her website tomorrow. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It's supposed to have the exact same formula. And honestly, this has the best color payoff out of anything I've ever owned. Okay, so the next question in the tag is the most versatile, and that by far goes to my Lorac Mega Pro 3, or really any of the Lorac Mega Pro palettes. So basically every holiday, Lorac releases a Mega Pro giant um, palette, and it has a total of 32 shades in it. So these right here are all mattes, so there are 16 mattes, there are 16 shimmers, these colors are absolutely beautiful. I really do like the Rock Pro formula. I think that it's similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula. However, I do like this one just a tad bit better, but I feel like this palette has every color you could ever need. There are warm tones, there are cool tones, there are shimmers, there are mattes, there are satins. I mean, this palette has every color in the rainbow and I feel like it's just so versatile. The awesome thing about this palette is Typically, her Mega Pros only come out during the holidays. However, you can get this one still on the Ulta website and also the Lorac website. Totally worth it. Beautiful, versatile palette. Okay, so the next question in the palette tag is the best palette for traveling. And this one also I'm going to give to a Lorac Pro shadow palette. Um, however, this is not a Mega Pro. This is a regular Pro. This is permanent in the collection, and this is the Lorac Pro 3. So every time I go traveling, I love to take this with me. It does have a mirror in it, and you can definitely tell that this has been loved. I love that there are some warm tones, there are some cooler tones. You also have some shimmers down here, and I just, I love the size of it. I feel like it fits in your bag really well. The packaging is very sturdy, so it's not going to break in your bag. And you can pretty much create a day look or a night look with this, and I just feel like it's perfect for traveling. Every time I go somewhere, I always take my Lorac Pro 3. So the next question in the tag is kind of a sad one. Um, this palette is, oops, <laughs> this palette is my biggest regret. And I feel like there's a lot of controversy about this palette on YouTube, on Instagram. People either love it or hate it. And I don't hate it. I don't think it's the worst palette ever, but I really do regret buying it. So this is the Tardis Pro palette. And... This is what the inside of it looks like. Sorry, it is quite reflective. Um, one positive about this is it does smell like vanilla, like the rest of Tarte's shadows, so I do like that. Um, 
And the thing that I don't like about this palette is even though these colors look very versatile and beautiful, I feel like when I blend these out on my eyes, I end up getting a really muddy look and it doesn't seem to matter if I'm using the lighter mattes, the darker mattes, or I'm incorporating these duochrome shimmers. I just, I never like the eye look that I come out with and I just, this is like a $60 palette and honestly I feel like there are much better things you can spend your money on. You can buy almost two of those Anastasia palettes for the price of this. So yeah, that is definitely my biggest regret. Okay, so the next question in the tag is best names, and I feel like that goes to any of the Juvia's Place palettes. So this one right here is the Masquerade palette, and this is a black-owned makeup brand. The awesome thing about their palettes is all of them are based on Africa and the traditions in Africa. So some of the names in this palette, I mean, of course, the colors are absolutely stunning. They're super pigmented. I love these, and you can get more natural looks and obviously more creative looks out of this. Um, but some of these names are names like Giza, um, Zobo, Cairo, Zulu, Chi, Molly, Dahlia, Zola. I just, I really like that this palette has a lot of meaning behind the names and it's all about African culture as all the Juvia's Place palettes are. And they are just fantastic. They're really inexpensive for the quality. And I just think that it has the best story behind the names. Okay, so the next question in the tag is my least used palette, and that definitely goes to my Jouer Skinny Dip. Sorry, this is quite reflective. Um, so this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Again, very reflective. You can tell the pink one has gotten a lot of love. It is by far my favorite shade. However, it is the least pigmented out of all of the shades, which is a little disappointing. But... The thing about this is even though it is beautiful, this is not an everyday look kind of palette. You can't get a look just out of this one palette. You have to pair something else with it. And these colors, like I said, they're just not super practical for every day. And it's definitely, it's not my least favorite palette, but it is definitely my least used palette. And finally, the last question in the tag is the most used palette and also the palette you could take with you on a desert island. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. It is one of my favorite palettes I own, and this is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette. I am absolutely in love with this thing. As you can probably tell, it has been very loved, very used, very abused, especially these shimmers up here. So the thing about this palette is obviously it has some matte shades. It has a couple satins. Um, those are very beautiful, but these pressed glitters steal the show. These are not your ordinary shimmer formula. These are literally pressed glitter. You can't pick these up with a brush. You have to use your fingers. That's how ultra pigmented they are. And I don't have anything like this in my collection, even from that Jouer palette. These knock those out of the park. I am just obsessed Right now, I am wearing rose gold on my eyes. And my other favorite color in here, of course, is angelic. This like duochrome pink up here in the corner. You can really see that one's had some love. Fling is also a really beautiful color. This kind of like deep red. You have 24K, which is a beautiful gold color. And then this shade right here, Trust Fund, is also just absolutely beautiful. I adore this palette. I think that if you like pressed glitter shimmers, you need this in your life and not to mention you don't have to use the pressed glitters every time you use this palette i really think that these um shades down here give you a really nice matte look if that's what you're looking for for every day so those are all the palettes i chose for the perfect palette tag thank you so so much for being here i really do appreciate you watching if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more content from me please go ahead and subscribe down below i can't wait to make more videos and thanks for being here Bye.